I'm Chris Jacobson. I'm a sergeant with the Lodi Police Department. I've been with the department now for 22 and a half years. I uh, worked four years as a canine officer. Currently I'm the canine sergeant and uh, trainer for the canine unit. And other things I do, I work uh, with our traffic unit and with our SWAT team. As a young officer, we would have uh, uh, calls that I thought were really exciting and I never got a chance to go over there because I always had to work my side of town. Everybody just can't go to those calls. And so I, I learned really quick who got to go to all those calls, the canine handlers. So I, got, I quickly decided that I wanted to get into the canine unit because I wanted to be involved in all those exciting calls. I got in as a, what we call an agitator. I would go out and volunteer my time and get bit by all the police dogs. And after about a year and a half of doing that, I was able to buy my own dog. I trained my own dog with the help of the guys on the unit. And we brought my dog, his name was Razor, on board. And Razor and I worked together as a team for uh, over four years. We did all these competitions. We did all the training seminars. We got to travel. He flew in a couple of helicopters, stayed in nice hotels. Had a great time. I love my time as a canine man. The canines are very important to uh, police departments. We are an agency or a county that doesn't have the opportunity to use a helicopter. We work with the canines. The canines enable us to search large areas and buildings and hazardous situations quickly and more efficiently than with officers. If an officer was going to have to uh, clear a giant building, we would be in there quite a bit of time. Now we can have a dog unleashed and let that dog into a building. The dog will use their nose and their olfactory system and they will use that to search the building. They say a dog can smell every ingredient in a cake, whereas we as humans may smell a chocolate cake. They smell the flour, the yeast, the sugar, everything. That's how, how uh, much power they have in those, those noses. So we like to utilize those noses. Another thing that's so good is the PR out of, of a dog. Everybody loves the dogs. So it's great in, in, in times where people may be unhappy that they got a ticket, things like that. Those dogs, the kids love to get out and see those dogs. They're family pets. So it, it, it's, a, it's great on both ends. But they save us a great deal of time and they save lives. Dogs, when they're searching in hazardous situations, they are a tool. It's very sad if something happens to them, but let's, let's be real, if something happens to that dog, it's much better that it happens to the dog than to one of the, the officers, and, and, and that they are a tool, and unfortunately that does happen, and we hope it never does here, but it's something that, it's a reality. The first canine event in Lodi was uh, 1988. We've been doing this for 23 years. This, although uh, many people see it says, the eighth annual Art O'Keefe Canine Competition. We named the uh, canine competition after uh, Lieutenant Art O'Keefe, retired from the San Francisco Police Department, who was a great friend of our trials and always was one of the bad guys, one of our judges. He passed away of cancer eight years ago. Uh, one of his wishes was to have one of the canine events named after him, and he always loved the Lodi Canine Trial. So we, uh, we offered to do it, he was very happy. We made him an honorary lieutenant with our police department, presented him with a badge, and on his passing, we've uh, named it the Art O'Keefe Memorial Dog Trial. So we've been doing it for 23 years, but this is the eighth Art O'Keefe Canine Memorial Dog Trial. In the middle of the field, you'll see today a Florida Marlins jersey. That jersey was worn by one of our longtime friends, Rick Banky. Rick was retired Sacramento County Sheriff's Deputy, who was a canine handler, and again, a great friend of our, our department. Rick passed away this year, and one of the things we decided to do to honor him was to bring that Florida Marlins shirt back. He wore that shirt to every dog trial, I think since the Marlins came into the baseball, uh, the baseball league. So he would wear that ugly Marlins shirt to every canine event. He judges every dog trial. So what we decided to do to honor him is we have him judging today. He's out there at the pitcher's mound today overseeing our judges. He'll be at dinner having dinner with us tonight and uh, his wife Cindy was gracious enough to let us have that, that, that Marlins jersey in honor of Rick Banky, a great friend of the Lodi Police Department and the Western States Police Canine Association. Some of the things that we do at our dog trials is we sell items to raise uh, money for our canine officers and our cadet program. The canines do have an account with the city. It's, a, it's an account that is, is very specific for food and for reimbursable training, things like that, vet bills. Some of the stuff that we do is not reimbursable, some of our, our canine trainings. So it's hard to get that money from the city to go attend these trainings. So what we, and to buy dogs. Dogs are extremely expensive. So what we do to offset the city in these tight budget times is we fundraise 
we have a trust account with the city. All these funds that we raise here today will go into our trust account. We have done in times where we've bought two or three dogs at one time, we split it with the city. We'll take the money out of our trust fund, they'll match it and we'll buy our dogs. We went to a, a major um, training event last year that was not a reimbursable event. Our trust fund paid for it for the officers to attend so that they'd be, they'd be better for the city. We do those kinds of things uh, with our, our trust monies that we earn out here. Our snack bar, we turn that over to our cadets. Our cadets also don't have a very big budget. So this is their major fundraiser. So every hamburger, hot dog, soda that they sell today goes into their trust fund. So those cadets, they can buy uh, uh, flashlights, uh, uniforms, much needed equipment, car. They struggle for vehicles, they get hand-me-downs. We're hoping to earn enough money where well, they'll be able to buy a newer vehicle something they can be really proud of, but they're great. And you'll see those cadets out here today working their tails off, and they do it for free because they want to help out. As a supervisor of our canine unit, I'd love to take credit uh, for this event, but I didn't have any doings in this event this year. Adam Lockie, one of our officers, he's our trainer now. He's learning to be the trainer. He's taken over. He's done a wonderful job. Adam coordinated this, uh, this dog trial with the four canine handlers, Chris Delgado, Ryan LaRue, Andre Belaski and Josh Redding. Those five officers put together an outstanding dog trial yesterday and today. They went out and solicited for donations. They got the food, they got the cooks ready, they got everything taken care of. They did an outstanding job. And then Lieutenant Steve Carrillo, he sits behind the desk all the time. We give him a hard time, but Steve, the last two days, has worked all of us under the table. So I'd have to say, I'd like to say thank you to those guys for putting this together and allowing me to talk on camera and to do these things. I can't take credit, they're, they're great. So thanks guys, you guys did a wonderful job. The canines that are attending today are all members of what we call the Western States Police Canine Association, WSPCA. They have a website everybody can look at. It's WSPCA.net. It gives all the dog trial information. It gives information about the organization. It's got great photos, things like that. You can go to that website and check that out. Those agencies that are in attendance today are from places like Dos Palos, which is down near Fresno, Oakland PD, uh, Sa San Joaquin County Sheriff's Department, Sacramento Sheriff's Department. Uh, yesterday at our narcotics event, we had dogs coming from Alameda County, uh, Yuba County, all over the, the state of Cal northern state of California. We have many judges here today, a a as, in, a as we did yesterday. We have a judge from Oxnard, which is down in LA. So they come from all over to judge these events. And we have agitators today, you'll see, and we call them bad guys. These bad guys are all the sons of Art O'Keefe, who we named the dog trial after. And they're gonna come out today, they volunteer their time for free to get bit by these police dogs. 